This is your weekly trip to paradise, Louisiana style, with Gary Rasponi and Don Dubuque. Paradise, Louisiana is presented by Rotolo's Pizzeria. Fresh ingredients, friendly service. That's just the way we Rotolo. Demco, your touchstone energy cooperative. Pro Drive Outboards. Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company. Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change. Cracker Barrel Convenience Stores. We have more than you expect. Always fresh, never frozen, raising canes. Louisiana Fish Fry Products. And by CCA Louisiana and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament. Welcome to Paradise, Louisiana. Here we are in Segan Lane. Superior bait and tackle, Mr. Mark Matthews. This is the center right now for all your baits. You want information, where they're biting, what's happening, all the latest baits, and if you don't have them, what I like about Mark, he'll order. So Don, we had a busy, busy, busy week again, and I, I guess for the next two months, I guess we need to quit complaining and just go ahead and just keep on doing it. So, uh, we had, I had a very busy weekend, I know. We had Swole Fest, 20th and the Swole Fest. Uh, plus, we had some leftover footage from last week. We had a fishing trip with Captain John Chauvin, you know, out of Fouchon. And so, and Don, what you have? I'm well, assuming. we went catching first and then we went cooking later. We went all the way from Lafitte to Bourbon Street in the French Quarter to show you that program, and it's an excellent program. It's going to make you hungry to watch that. Well, you know, I, I made that first one. I know you did. You were and in the inaugural catch and cook Man, program. Chris and I, we got to sit at the right kind of table. Somebody uh -huh. pick up a tab. That's right. what I like about it. <laughs> uh, you, know, I, you know, that's how they do that. Somebody tell you, Mr. Kerr, how you like your steak? I say, free. So I don't have to worry about it. There you go. So you learn all kinds of things on this show. You're also going to learn about our tournament report. We got that coming up for you about some tournaments that are upcoming and also one that was held last weekend, the one you and I were there, Swole Fest, 20th anniversary celebration, a great time. Also got some hot news items. The Fish of the Year from the Louisiana Outdoor Rider Association Awards have been announced. We'll tell you who the winners are for that. Also update you on the CCA Star, another tagged redfish caught by yet another unregistered angler. Also, we're going to tell you a little bit about what you'll see next week with the Rosso Cane situation. Really serious situation. We're going to be going down to Venice to check out what's happening there and report that back to you next week. Sam O'Bear, one of our correspondents, made a little trip to Lake Charles area in the new reef. That's right. Got a little bit of that if we have time and a lot of things that we got. We don't have time. You stay tuned for the next three weeks because we're going to get them in. It's one a good thing we don't hunt in the summertime or we'd never get it all. I don't know. All right. Good. And also don't forget about our Berkeley Abu Garcia fishing report. That's all coming up right here on Paradise, Louisiana. Hey, I'm Mitch Rotolo, owner of Rotolo's Pizzeria. Our pizzas are prepared every day using the freshest ingredients. But Rotolo's has so much more to offer than just delicious pizza. We have an array of healthy salads and tasty wraps, a wide choice of pasta like spaghetti and chicken parmesan, zesty buffalo wings, and our selection of savory calzones. And don't forget to try one of our amazing desserts. Come into any of our local restaurants or check out our entire menu online at rotolos.com. That's just the way we Rotolo. Stay tuned for more Paradise, Louisiana. The CCA Louisiana Star Tournament is doubling down this year. Double the tagged redfish. Twice the trucks. Over half a million dollars of prizes awarded in more than 20 categories. Open to all ages, inshore and offshore, youth and or free. Don't let your chance to win swim away. Register at CCASTAR.com or at any Academy Sports and Outdoors. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. And Gary, you know, a, a program that's been in effect now for quite a while, had to go before the legislature to get it approved, is Louisiana's Catch and Cook program. Some other states have it. They've got a different name for it. But the basic concept is you can go fishing with a charter captain, or even, I guess, catch your own fish and make an arrangement with one of the participating restaurants for you to bring your fresh catch to their restaurant, have them clean it and cook it in a way that maybe you've never tried before. It's not only good for people that live here, but especially good 
for tourists who come here fishing because the, the, the cumbersome job of getting the fish and keeping them on ice and transporting them back to wherever they're from, a lot of them don't take their fish and don't get to enjoy them. So this is a great way to do that. And these tourists, they hear about our legacy for being great restaurants, great chefs, and, and you get to check it out. And sometimes it, it also cuts down on the price. But what gets me is when we did it that one time, it was just amazing. We had so many different kind of fish and they cooked every one a little bit different. We had from fried to on a half shell. We had it so many ways and it was just tremendous the first time we did it. Well, what we did was we started off fishing in Lafitte with uh, good friends, you know, Tofield Bourgeois, Bourgeois Charters. Uh, Tofield had to fly the plane out. He's real busy with that these days. So Captain Craig Mathern, his office manager and also a captain, came along, uh, Ginger Janae, who works with Tofiel, and Linda Kutcher, the writer that works with me on a radio show, and Chef Eric Cook. Now, how more natural is that to be named Cook and you're a chef at a restaurant? He is the head chef at the Bourbon House, which is part of the Dickey Brennan family of restaurants located in the French Quarter. He came along with us. Wasn't an easy day fishing, but we managed to put some nice fish in the boat, packed it up, drove across the river down to the French Quarter to Bourbon Street, and Captain, uh, not Captain, but Chef Eric, Took those fish, went back into the kitchen, took uh, my cameraman Jeff Hackett and showed him everything he was doing with it there. And before you know it, one dish after another started coming out to our table and it was the perfect end to a perfect day. And you can do that. You can give that as a gift to someone. If you've got out of town friends coming in, it's a great way to dine at a really fine restaurant and show them the French Quarter at the same time, show them the wetlands. It's called the Catch and Cook Program. And you can find listings of all the restaurants. So if your favorite restaurant, call them and ask them, do they participate? Or call your favorite charter captain service like Bourgeois Charters, and he can set the whole deal up for you with the restaurants. It's a great program. It's a wonderful idea. We'll take you there now and show you how it went on our Catch and Cook. Oh, yeah. Come to Papa. Woo! Nice. Woo Right, great day of fishing. And now that the catching's over, it's time for the hard work. I don't know, Don. I gotta get back to the camp and start writing this story. I don't have time for all that. I'm thinking about nails. Okay, if they don't really want to clean and cook, I got you. The catch and cook program. For us in the restaurant, you know, the perspective is it's an amazing program, it really is. It gives the chefs an opportunity to really get the freshest ingredients. Not that we don't have the world's greatest seafood down here already, but right out of the water to the restaurant, no place in the world can you do that. We love it. Well, we find that, you know, the fishermen come in, lots of redfish, speckled trout, but we get those uh, black drum come in, those sheephead come in, and those are the little sleepers, you know, but we love doing, you know, redfish cubion. We love doing showing them presentations they might not be able to do at home. Skin on speckled trout with you know, lemon garlic butter and you know, fresh spring peas from our farm here in Louisiana with you know, grilled Louisiana onion on top. Just real bright, fresh. The idea is to let the fish speak for itself in its freshness. From our perspective as a charter business, we know we have a world-class fisheries. And we have a lot of creative chefs out here. But when you come to the Bourbon House and some of the best chefs sort of planet cooks the fish that was on your line at 10 a.m. and it's on your dish at 6 p.m. you now have some world-class dishes and recipes it just makes our resource even better doesn't get much better than this guys redfish swimming in the water just a few hours ago local citrus green onion oil a little bit of lemon pickled peppers cucumber and lemon basil fresh as can be you'll taste the water in it still it's going to be amazing. Enjoy. It's a good mix. I mean, we find a lot of folks coming in from California, from New York, 
Uh, we do participate with a lot of locals as well, but it's, it's, it's a lot of, uh, you know, tourists. And it's, it's exciting to see their face. They come in because they've been on the water all day. They got to experience our amazing natural resources. And then they get to take that amazing seafood, that fish they caught that day, and bring it to some of the best restaurants in the world and watch it prepared right in front of them. And some of the, the neat things is the chefs will explain all of the fresh ingredients that they have, how they complement the fish that you just caught. And then you have your choices of which dish you want. And I mean, you could just put a blindfold on and pick anyone you want. It's going to be great. This is uh, Rizzolet speckled trout, lemon garlic butter, green onion oil, fresh out of the water. All you need to do is speak to your charter captain, let them know you want to participate in the catch uh, and cook program. And a lot of the captains are on board with it. It's a very popular program right now. And all they need is a Louisiana fishing license. They need the name and the registration of the, the guides they're going out with. And they need to bring it to the restaurant. That's the most important part. Uh, not only do you have to have your license to fish, but for our paperwork as well as the restaurant. And we have all the paperwork here ready for you to go. So all you gotta do is show your license, sign away, and enjoy. Look at this guy. That, my friends, is what living in South Louisiana is all about. Nothing beats fresh, whole, baked redfish. And we've just begun. We're about to jack it up a little bit more. You'll see. Stay tuned for this one. Big fish like this should feed a family. So we like to serve it family style. The captain's gonna put you on some good fish. You're gonna, you're gonna catch uh, some of the most pristine, like I said, a world-class fisheries, which, which all anglers know we have down here. And uh, what better than to put the exclamation point on that day is to have a Dickie Brennan's dish sitting in front of you. This, my friends, is how we do redfish in New Orleans. Not redfish cuvillon. Simple, salt, pepper, lemon, a little fresh thyme. Smell it, you just get all the aroma. You get that redfish smell. You get that seafood stock smell. Cooked down with our local Creole tomatoes, which just came in the season. It's perfect. It's perfect for any occasion. Well, it's hard to beat the cuvillon, but the ceviche was off the hook. So if you're into the catch and not so much the cooking and cleaning, call the Dickie Brennan family of restaurants or your favorite restaurant that is a participant in the Catch and Cook program. Ask me how fast I fall asleep. Why not talk to someone who's sleeping on the most highly recommended bed in America? Ask me about staying asleep. Tempur-Pedic owners are more satisfied than owners of any traditional mattress brand. Ask me how it feels after 10 years. Tempur-Pedic, the most highly recommended bed in America. Ask about Tempur-Pedic at Olin's, where you know you always get the guaranteed low price. Olin's is the only store in Baton Rouge and Lafayette with the full line of Tempur-Pedics. Welcome back to Superior Bait and Tackle in Baton Rouge on Seagull Lane. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana and Gary. A couple weeks ago, we made the Golden Medal Fouchon Tarpon Rodeo Media Day. I went offshore. You saw the snapper action last week. We're going to tell you a lot more about the rodeo as we get a little bit closer to it. But you went on the inshore with Captain John Chauvin of Fantastic Fishing Charters. Who was on board and how was your trip? Well, we had your cameraman on board. Oh, old camera, camera, alumni. Camera He's an camera. alumni. Right, Don Dubuque, you. alumni cameraman. Patrick Thomas. Good guy, too. Right. He was good a good shooter. fisherman, too. He is. Also, when we had the young lady, my mind had done drew a blank, but she's, we, we, we talked to her. She's with the Port Commission. She's one of the people that put things together, organizers, and, and the whole part with their website. She is one of the big movers and shakers at the Port Commission. Plus, she loves to fish. She's from down there. She ain't been there a lot of fishing, but she really strapped us on. Let me tell you about the captain. 
I've been knowing of Captain Chris, uh, you know, our producer and editor. He fished with him last year. Also had a good trip. I always feel like I get put aside. You know, y'all went offshore and everybody, y'all with the glamour boats. So I went with the guy to shoot camera, you know. Uh, Chris was on the boat with y'all. Took some great video, Gary Krause. We got so much coming for y'all in the next few weeks. But let me tell you this, that young man would find fish all day long. We went to the rocks and the barges. And they would catch them on croaker. Croaker was the best bait he was using. But we had everything. We had cockahoes, we had live shrimp, and we, we had, we were fishing Carolina rig with a croaker. So the croaker was distant. You had to get used to doing it. Patrick, he, he caught on quick. You know, I was telling you, and he was in the boat. And uh, they started catching some big trout. Uh, the boat on the side of us caught one with that wind up being a winner, you know, almost four pounds. From our boat, it looked like about six pounds. So we, we just knew we had to go catch a redfish. So we went back in the marsh. It got rough. Caught, not only did we catch redfish, but we caught speckled trout too. Same thing, but only trouble is using cockahoe minnows under course, live cockahoe. And when that shallow water and them oyster beds, that young captain is amazing. How many places he's got marked and he knows in the network of those captains coming out of Fouchon and Grand Isle, how they work together. So it, it's a no brainer if you're going to go down there. If you haven't been down there, you hire your guide. It's not that expensive. You save your money. You ain't got to clean no boat. You ain't got to clean fish. Would that be a good Father's Day gift for this weekend? Uh, tremendous. Any time it would be a Father's Day gift. So you, let's go see it. This is a fishing trip. Captain John Chauvin. We, uh, we are leaving out of Moran's Marina, Port Fouchon Marina, and out of Fouchon. We're going to go and head out and look for some trout and reds this morning. Uh, hopefully we can get on the front and see get about getting some of those big female trout that have been biting on the on the beach. We've been doing really well, but this wind and weather kind of kind of had us locked into the marsh lately. But we're gonna see if we can't get out on the front and get a few of them big trout while they're out there. And if that turns to to a different direction, we might have to head out to the marsh and catch some reds and a few trout in there. But we're gonna see if we can't catch some big ones this morning. Patrick Thomas, WGNO. News with a twist. <laughs> I'm Joni Tuck. And who are you with? I'm the external relations manager for uh, the Greater Lafouche Port Commission. You're supposed to say fish on. Well, Look at I'm me. Sorry, I didn't want to jinx it. <laughs> Look, you want me on TV? You better be like a TV lady. Look at me, Captain. <laughs> hey, Look at that. Huh? That's the keeper. Oh, 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 no. oh. I've been with WGNO for 20 years. 20 years. I've uh, been chief photographer uh, since 2005. It's great. <laughs> What's your favorite? Outdoor? Outdoor. <laughs> it's always going to be my favorite outdoor, just, just fishing, you know, just coming out here, just enjoying, catching speckled trout, reds, whatever, just fishing. Good job. Yeah, you're right, bro. Yeah, that's, right. that's a nice one. Not the big you redeemed one yourself, my friend. <laughs> right. You okay. redeemed yourself. Yes, I did. It's great, man. <laughs> Love it. Let's go. No slack. Got him? There you go. Good job, dog. Get 
and I saw the Fouchon hitting some of the marsh. We're going to end up trying up these couple of cuts for trout and redfish. Been doing really well lately. So we're going to end up seeing if we can't pull in a few more right here. And we'll but tell me up. why we're leaving, because it, it really wasn't that rough. It was, it was actually, it was sl a slower bite uh, than what we had wanted. And I don't want to waste too much time trying to go as, and, and wait for them. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to find the ones that want to bite. Yeah, you better be. Oh, yeah. You mean to get my father? Up and over. Keeper? There you oh, go. Oh, he got the magic. Oh, that's a good one. I just want to know. I got confidence. John Chauvin on camera. Look at that. John, how, did it make him look big? big? I think he looks huge. Look, I've been shooting all y'all catching fish. This is <laughs> just sad. Captain, you've been producing pretty good today on a bad day. Tell us. Tell us how people can get in touch with you and book a trip. Well, they can call 985-665-4586 for myself, or they can go online and look up Captain John's Fantastic Charters, or type in fincharters.com. It'll take you to my website, fill out all the information. We can see by getting y'all hooked up. There we go! Good on the grill, huh? That'd be very good on the grill. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome, darling. Oh. You're That's welcome. it, Cam. That's what it's all about. Trasher from CCA. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. As members of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative, we've all got a job to do. And the more we work together, the more we save. That's the power of your co-op membership. Demco. Your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. In today's H and H tournament report, we've got an inaugural tournament coming on. They're calling it the first annual, so obviously they're planning on continuing this year after year. I'm talking about the Rick's Rodeo, sponsored in conjunction with Puglia Sporting Goods. It's going to be over at Jack Payne's place, Sweetwater Marine. It's a two-day tournament on Friday and also Saturday. The awards presentation will be Saturday night. 
over at Rick's Cabaret, $2,500 for the biggest speckled trout's first place. They pay out three places. Redfish, it's a three fish limit that you can bring in and weigh in. Uh, that will also, the first place team will get $2,500 for that. It's $125 entry fee. Uh, you still got time to join up if you're watching this on one of our earlier broadcasts. And um, it's going to be a Where great Where can time. they see you at the land? I'll be there broadcasting at Sweetwater Marina from 5 to 9 a.m. on a Saturday morning, uh, kind of updating you on how Friday fishing went and what the conditions are there. So if you get a chance, take part in it. It should be a whole lot of fun out there. Yeah, I might have to be there, too. All right, now speaking of tournaments and rodeos, Swole Fest, well, 20th well, anniversary. I, I got one more. I got to remember, we got another new one. We've been advertising all this week. Mm -hmm. And it's called a Grand Slam. It's going to be at the Sand Dollar again. It's the first time inaugural tournament. And they, they sponsor so many different charities. This is a one-day tournament. And it'll be at Sand Dollar. You can go on their website, and you can find out what we call the Grand Slam. So be sure that Mr. Rotola, by the way, that's his friends, and then putting mm -hmm. it on there. Mitch does so much at Rotola's Pizzeria. So... Uh, I might be running back and forth, uh, but I would love to be there Saturday night where y'all going to be. You think uh, you think you can you, find me? You're welcome to go. You, know, you, you can, think? Uh, I'm old single we'll have, guy. We'll, we'll, we'll maybe bring you some highlights, and so we'll you know, bring it to you instead oh, no, of you I going to I want to be there when the highlights okay, are Okay, I understand, I understand. <laughs> All right, let's talk about this competition. You know, we had King Kong versus Godzilla. We had Ali versus Liston. Now we got, what is it, Mitchell versus Vadreen going on with no, these events? Yeah, the Vadreen was way down there. The, the young boys and bourgeois boys and uh -huh. Darby and all his, his little gang, they, they, they held first place for a long time. Vance also won the Catholic High. They, they, went, they won the five trout limit. He won the five trout with 20 point something pounds. He also uh, had the big trout with over five pounds. Uh, Lance has been in the money. He's been there close always. I say Lance, I mean Vance. Mm -hmm. Vance Mitchell, his little girls are always competitive. His, his whole family, they do tremendous. Brothers, everybody. And that's y'all know Tommy. I'm close. Tommy fishes hard. Uh, he, I know he had to be in the top four or five. He came in there. I think his five fish stringer was about 14 pounds. But they had a second place was 16 pounds. Here's some pictures. We took the pictures to weigh in. So many kids came wake in. And Chip Robinson, Chip Robinson, one of great outdoorsmen here and car dealers here in Baton Rouge. Yeah, Chip, uh, he was with Chris Moran uh, two of the three days. I know he was going to come in that first day, and the fish held up a long time. I think he had uh, blackfin tuna, and he had big snapper. So, All right, well, let's take him on down to Swole Fest, 20th anniversary. A real honor was paid to the founder and director, Nick Robber, also the inspirational award winner. We'll bring you down there now and let you take him. See what happened at Swole Fest. 20 year anniversary rodeo. Twenty years ago we came down here, eight guys. It was my dad, a couple of other buddies and their dad, and uh, we stayed at the Barefoot Inn right there on LA1. After uh, you know, a few of those rodeos that were real small, eight, ten, fifteen people, we kept moving along, moving up, and then uh, in 2001, we came to Sand Island Marina. We've been there ever since. So now we're at 2017, and we've benefited a lot of people in our state, a lot of people around. And uh, in our 20th annual, we're now partnering with the new Our Lady of the Lake Children's Hospital. And so uh, it's a beautiful place. It's going to be a freestanding children's hospital in Baton Rouge. And um, it's going to be all completed, hopefully, by 2019. And all of our monies, as our major beneficiary, is going to go to that children's hospital. And so it's a worthy cause. Everybody needs to come down here and fish it, be a part of it, and help any kid that there is. We also help our wounded veterans. We have heroes on the water that are here. And uh, we have a big surprise for them as well tomorrow night. And it's going to be just a blast. So if you want to support kids and our wounded veterans, you come down and fish the Fest. I'm John Paul Funes with Our Lady of the Lake Foundation. Just wanted to tell everybody what a blessing it is to be the recipient for uh, Swole Fest for 2017. Our children's hospital that we're building right now is going to treat kids from all over the state for years to come. We hope to open it in 2019. And it's uh, just an unbelievable gift for all these uh, fishermen to be contributing to Swole Fest and for us to be a recipient. This is the kind of, we're trying to raise over $50 million to build this children's hospital. Construction's underway right off I-10 in Baton Rouge between Essendon and Blue Bonnet. And it's just, a, it's just incredible. 
for all the people that are out here today to be contributing to it, having a good time, enjoying the Sportsman's Paradise, and, uh, and helping us. So we're just, we, we can't say enough to thank everybody for their support. Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change has been keeping cars and trucks in Baton Rouge clean and running smooth for over 50 years. At Benny's, we feature professional car washing, complete detailing, high-tech waxing and buffing, interior cleaning, and tire shine. Benny's, one stop for car maintenance with complete oil and lube services and even state inspections at our express locations. Visit one of our five convenient locations, including our newest store on Greenwell Springs Road. And don't forget to stop by Be Quick Convenience Store and Fuel Stop. Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change. Drive in dirty, drive out clean. Steve Brockman from Prairieville, Louisiana. Out here at Swole Fest 2017, cooking a little jam sketty. Welcome to Swole Fest, Barry Gidry, Lafayette, Louisiana. Please come support, we love you. Congratulations. Just want to say that you 
are truly an inspiration to us. And sometimes when, when we have our worst days, well, all we have to do is think about you. And that really, truly keeps us going. We're so happy that you're a part of this organization. And we just we, we can't thank you enough for the inspiration that you are to all of us. I'm John Jackson, and you know we always say we gather our groceries out the bayou. Whether it's freshwater, saltwater, catfish, redfish, you have tons of choices when it comes to fish in Louisiana. But when I fry fish, there's only one choice, and that's Louisiana fish fry. My new favorite, the Cajun fish fry, has the perfect amount of cornmeal, corn flour, and the perfect mix of spices that really bring the heat. Hey, if you're craving Cajun, go look for the bright red bag at your local grocers. Bring home the taste of Louisiana with Louisiana Fish Fry. This is David Cresson with CCA Louisiana. We're out here at the site of Big Jack's Reef in Big Lake. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. The CCA Louisiana Star Tournament is doubling down this year. Double the tag redfish. Twice the trunks. Over half a million dollars of prizes awarded in more than 20 categories. Open to all ages, inshore and offshore, youth enter free. Don't let your chance to win swim away. Register at CCASTAR.com or at any Academy Sports and Outdoors. Welcome to the Flambeau Outdoor News segment on Paradise, Louisiana. Gary, some big news, uh, CCA-related, Coastal Conservation Association. They worked on the Big Jack Reef and created that over in Lake Calcasieu. Understand it's uh, only about 15 minutes out of Bear's Land and should provide some really good structure and habitat for speckled trout fishermen Quick, over in that too. area. Quick, too. By this fall, they should be producing fish. We're, uh, the, the artificial reef program basically provides the seed money for these inshore reef projects. And so we have great project partners like CCA and Shell uh, and DLS, the, the, the construction company that's doing the work. And so by teaming up, we're able to really expand the, the reach of the project. And so the department's providing uh, just under half, and so CCA and its partners provide over a one-to-one -one match, and it really uh, enables us to have a, a great wide-reaching impact. We don't have all the details yet, but there was yet another tagged redfish caught. This one was caught over in Rockefeller, yet again by somebody who failed to get their star ticket before going fishing. Uh, this one was caught in the Rockefeller area. However, it's still swimming. If you recapture that one, it will earn you a truck, but unfortunately not if you don't have a ticket like that angler did. Another unlucky angler. You oh. know, those, those pictures, the photos they showed on their website, and that, it, a lot of feature, people have took those and, and catching fish right now in them same areas. That fish are not going far. You remember last year, exactly. some of them fish that were tagged traveled far, but not this year. Well, the unofficial winner. That's why he went to fish the spot. He caught his. He All recognized right. it when they were releasing it in one of the photos. So you got to watch and get a handle on where they are because those fish do not generally travel very far. Mm -hmm. Also coming up next week, you're going to see a report. We're going down to Venice and check out this uh, Rosso cane that has been attacked by the, the mealy worm, the bug that is killing it and posing a threat, not just to the, the coastline, the entire coast by uh, killing a, uh, an important vegetative plant that holds the soil together and provides storm buffer, but they're also concerned now that it's going to move into the sugarcane fields. And that, now you're talking some economics, immediate impact there. So we're going to get the full story on it, show you some information about it, and tell you what's being done to try to stop its, its spread. we are doing that. All right, we'll uh, be right back with the H&H uh, &H tournament report here on Paradise, Louisiana. Today we're going to do some pond hopping. We got our bank fishing gurus with us today. We grabbed a box full of goodies from Matrix. We're going to hop from pond to pond in the pickup truck. No boat needed today. Pond hopping.
that we never fished these ponds before. I got a flutter hook. That's where the weight's inside the lure. It's attached to the shank of the hook on the UV. Catching some nice bass. What I would have liked to brought, if I would have known there was this many lilies, is use our matrix crawl with a weightless swim bait hook. That would have been the key and then work it over these uh, lily pads like a frog. That would have been killer. That's the flutter hook right there. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna push the lure, the matrix up over that and it's like it works as a fluke. Not exactly what I would recommend for this many lilies, but you can work it like a frog and then if you get lucky you come over to lilies. That fish hit it while it was coming across the lilies. Like right up and right up in there. But I need a I need a weightless hook to be able to work it right. But needless to say we caught Noah's got one on the uh, top water. I got one on this. We're gonna go with what we got. All we got is a, this is what we brought, a box of goodies. Grab some stuff off the shelf at the office. We'll make it work. See if we can get some more. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dockside TV and the point of this episode was to show you that you don't always need a boat to catch fish but you might have to walk through some trails and through the woods sometimes. Anyway, for all other episodes go to matrixshed.com and check out all of our on the boat episodes and now on the bank episodes. Hey, I'm Mitch Rotolo, owner of Rotolo's Pizzeria. Our pizzas are prepared every day using the freshest ingredients but Rotolo's has so much more to offer than just delicious pizza. We have an array of healthy salads and tasty wraps, a wide choice of pasta like spaghetti and chicken parmesan, zesty buffalo wings, and our selection of savory calzones. And don't forget to try one of our amazing desserts. Come into any of our local restaurants or check out our entire menu online at rotolos.com. That's just the way we Rotolo. Welcome to the Berkeley Abu Garcia Fishing Report. And Gary, before we get to the reports, uh, we need to talk about this Valor fishing rod. You know, we've got our friend, you know, when you go into Superior Bait and Tackle, you never know who's going to show up. The representative from Cajun Rods is here today with, uh, with Mark, and they're talking about the rods. But explain how this works. It's called Valor, and this is a great idea. Yeah, it's, he was talking about this and that. So every time somebody buys a, a, a rod, and they're, they're going to turn some of this money back or uh, what they make back to these the different programs mm -hmm. with the with the veterans organization. So I don't know a whole lot about it, but I'm sure you can go on the website and find out Cajun Rock, or you can talk to Mark here. Superior Bait and Tackle, beautiful rods. They, they're real popular and light, just like all the great rods we got coming out of here, Louisiana. I think these coming out of Monroe. Mm -hmm. now, do you see that on there? You see that little yeah, thing right hooky. there? That's yeah. a hooky. All right. Now, I find that's for people with poor air, eyesight. I can't hear. I can I can thread my line, but somebody okay. can. Okay. Yes, you can do it. You can go well, look I it I like up. that for surf fishing. When you, you need a third hand, you got the rod, you're in the water, you got a retie. That's perfect but for that. I don't in Tennessee. Search for it. You'll find it. The hooky. Nothing to do with skipping school. All right, let's go. I want to thank talk. Jason Yerger for stopping by with that Cajun rod and the great job they do on helping our veterans with that. All right, let's talk some fishing now. Where do you want to start? Let's talk with saltwater on the coast. Mm -hmm. I was as good as any. Coastal. coastal fishing is just still blowing up. It was feast of famine, but I never seen so many Thursday when I got in, how many limits people were coming in in the afternoon, in the evening. They would catch them on pokers, they catch them on live shrimp, they catch them on plastic, they were fishing the barges, they were fishing back in the marsh. The rocks right there at Sand Dollar, Guys were going out right there. They were just, just laughing. They were going back. They were catching their pokers right there by the Coast Guard station, and they were catching fishes. So, and I don't want to leave out. I'm talking about everybody I talked to was catching trout. Next day, Friday, a little bit different. Got a little harder for some people. Some of the people that uh, were leading. You know, that's another thing. It's similar to the trout rodeo. You don't have to weigh in your five fish to the last day. So if you catch a four pounder every day, you, you can save that. But once they clip the tail, when then that would happen. You know, another thing we noticed over there on this trip, 
the Feliciana is always out fishing where they had some big lemon fish, okay? Cobia. And they want to wear them both in the store and in this. Red stopped them real quick and said, look, you got to go wear it sand dollars, official scale first, before you wear it here, because they're going to clip the tail and it's going to be mutilated and they ain't going to count. So they did it and they get around. So it, it made the board on both of them. So that's different things that we, mm -hmm. would happen that weekend, but fish were being caught offshore. A bunch of snapper come in. So many blackfin tuna, yellowfin tuna, everything I was, when we was at that, the marinas were coming in. My brothers and them, uh, uh, my nephew and them went out, come back with a bunch of fish, so. Well, speaking of snapper, we should have an update on the snapper situation for you next week. Uh, today, while we're taping this a little bit later on, Wildlife and Fisheries is holding a special commission meeting to make a determination on which plan they're gonna go forward with in recommending the state and federal seasons for this coming year. Don, Thomas Garner sent me a, a picture. He didn't send me a picture, he showed me a picture of his K2 prize he won for sheephead at the CRC rodeo. I didn't hear anything on it, it was out of Delacro, mm -hmm. but I do want to mention the Grand Isle, the Rock, the Beaches, Leeville, George Beebe, and them boys of High Water Charters from Fuchsong, uh, John Dale Steinkamp, he was fishing the beaches, a big bull red on croaker, live croaker, live croaker, Carolina rigging, live croaker, Cockahoe Menace, be that, in the back, on them oyster beds, you can't beat it. Keep you from getting hung up. You can fish shallow as you want. You can be 12 inches, and you're catching them monster redfish in there, Grand Isle. Bruce died. My buddy over there from Angola, you know Bruce. Him and John Sheremy and Zachary Domain, every day to limit out. But the funny thing about it, Saturday at 10 o'clock, they had 10 fish. Then all of a sudden, they moved around. They got on a rock. They had live pogies. They finished their limit out. And no, and no time, a couple you hours. You don't think that had anything to do with that full moon? Fish becoming more active in the middle of the day? I, 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 think it I was does. always talking about uh, my daddy, freshwater, so I, I guess so. Uh, out to the east, out by uh, Hopedale, Shell Beach, Delacro, excellent reports came in all last week. We had a little bit of a break in the wind. It's been kind of rainy, but if you put up with that and bring your rain suit and uh, get you some of those croakers or live shrimp, uh, they're catching fish everywhere from central. The Breton Islands, Tofield had a knockdown kill em trip going out there on the plane to Breton Island again. He is making me sick. Oh, well, I ain't well, never got to make one. You were supposed to make one with me. John Jackson's supposed to. You got to make me. your reservations with uh, Tofield Airlines real quick. You're advanced talking about reservations? <laughs> We've been giving you a report from Delta Marina with Jody Donwa. Jody Donwa is still catching fish. And he's been booked up pretty side. He got a few open days in July. So if you get in touch with him, you might be able to get a few trips in in July. Uh, the MGO, our good friend that used to be with us all the time, Perry Barrett, huh? he catching that. Chris Macaluso told me the same thing. The bass are back or running in the MGO. Absolutely. They're catching bass back in the marsh, right off of that, off of Lake Bourne, in the marsh, catching bass, big bass. Perry had one on with five pounds, so he did it. Punch the train, the trussles are still good. Only trouble, the lake's been rough, okay? A couple of times, you got to be careful, but if you catch it right, if it gets a, just a window and you close by, you run out there and be surprised. They still there, the, the trout are there. They're not them big monster trout right now. And, and Don, before I leave, before I leave on this, uh, the saltwater version right now, Hurricane Hole, they got the young ladies that worked there, and there were so many boats coming in. It's growing all the time. It's beautiful. Food is great. Lan Tibbet, she works over there at the, at the bar. She's been taking some pictures, and she showed me, sent me a picture. The beautiful sunset and the full moon on the same day. Just thank you. Thank you, Lane. Beautiful. On the freshwater side, we're still getting high water reports down around the Chafalaya Basin in the Verret area. Uh, most of the, the fish have been moved because of the high water. They're getting back up into the trees. Uh, they're suggesting if you're going to go for throw, throw some frogs, throw some spinnerbaits. Uh, Delacro in the Violet area, uh, you know, we had a little bit of a, a system that came through with kind of a high pressure and it kind of held the fish back, but that should be back in action. Uh, buzz baits will work, spinner baits, uh, typical worms, just about any bass bait that you want to get. Still good and good bra uh, brim reports uh, from the North Shore. Our friend Mark Navo, boy, what a catch he had over there in Bayou Lacombe, fishing with the live crickets. 
uh, all of those areas. If we don't get too much more rain and those rivers start to drop down, should be getting into some of that late summer brim fishing. That Mark did, that was a good catch for most people, but for Mark, he was down a little bit. He said that high water, and there's been yeah, a lot of fresh water been that. We're talking about fresh water, too. In Stephenville area, a lot of people were staying away. They canceled the tournament. They re it's really flood stage. They don't even let you, some lands, they don't even let you put in on the Bell River side. They will not let you put in right now. They got the landing block. So their word's coming about that. But the people, you can get in. Lake Barrette, uh, and my good friends over there were calling us in and telling us about the fish they've been catching. Uh, they're catching catfish again. They're catching brim. Katie and Lee Hawkins, her dad, it was too rough to go on the lake. That's another lake that's rough, is dangerous. So if that wind is up, go in the canals off of it. Go in, you can places you can put in, let you put in. Your island, you can be in there in the north end at Pier Port Bay, or you can go on the south end at Magazil. You get out of that big lake, and you can still catch fish. And if the wind lets you down, catfish are there. About 18 inches on the cork. You, they catch catfish and brim on crickets. So you, that's another thing. So all the places. But the hottest place right now for bass, sacale, and brim, any kind of goggle eye, is the marsh. Buy a black marsh. Bluebird Canal, if y'all have heard of these, I've been getting reports coming for sacale, Bluebird Canal, uh, off the back, the main buyers of buy a black. Uh, let me think of some more, Don. I can't. Copper saw, uh, you know, Orange Grove, all those places up in there right now, they're still catching sacale, bass. They're punching bass in the grass, punching. All right, you know, uh, another good spot for fresh water, particularly if you like to fish crappie, sacale, white perch, whatever name you choose, Lake Grenada up in Mississippi. And the reason I'm mentioning that, uh, there were some tournaments held up there, and our buddy, uh, uh, Captain Clyde Foltz, the crappie psychic, his baits, that system that he used, there was some Mississippi fishermen took him up there and had some real top, I think they were second place. a three-pound you know? average. You saw that? How big? It was, it was unbelievable. Uh, James A. Snyder used to give us a lot of reports from all the rivers and wherever he is. He took a trip. He followed his wife up to Orlando. He was fishing a chain of lakes over there, the Harris chain of lakes, and he was catching a lot of fish and a lot of brim. You know, big uh, shell crackers and, and bass. He was catching bass seven, nine pounds. He didn't send me a whole lot of pictures, but he, he said he had a, such a great time. Jim Bitter, the big bass master, Bitter Tackle, he spent a lot of time in that store, and he wrote up a big story. He said he's going to come back. He's going to bring me a few pictures and talk about it. I wanted to thank him. Lorto Celine, Bob Butler, Gerald Salazar, and them spent some while up in, in them. Catching them on jig, catching them in a, about eight foot of water, fishing around there. Lotto Saline again is doing. And uh, I said by you back, Lake Barrett. I, I don't see if I got anything. I think that's all I got. All right, Gary. Yeah. Well, we have to end this show on yet another sad note the passing of a, a well known sportsman, a charter captain uh, this past week. Captain Bobby Terrebone, who was a very good friend of mine. Uh, the story goes back when I first met Bobby. He called into my radio show probably over 20 years ago, and he was describing himself. He was promoting a, an event that was going on in Grand Island. He said, uh, just tell him to come down and look for the blackest white man on Grand Island. And we laughed, and I went down there and met Captain Bobby, and we got to be good friends. I fished and won some tournaments aboard his boat. Uh, the name of his uh, charter was Gotcha Charters. Uh, he worked real hard. He did a lot of volunteer stuff for the Grand Isle Speckled Trout Rodeo and uh, Redfish Rodeo. Just a well-known and a well-liked guy. Uh, you know, I, I called him uh, Yule Brenner. If you think of the actor Yule Brenner from the movie The Ten Commandments and The Buccaneer, he kind of looked just like Yule Brenner. I nicknamed him that. And I know you had a lot of fun with him in the dance-off contest. Oh, because he was a dancer, too. And he was a veteran. He was a Marine he veteran. He sure was. I, I Vietnam. Went, I, went, I went to the services Friday morning. And uh, they opened the door. They had 21 gun suit outside. They had all the veterans they had to take them. Buggy Baker and all those people at the bridge side, it, it was packed. The church was packed. The people was there, Renee, and all those captains, other captains that always worked with him. They always had great stories about him. But my story is, you know, we used to have the rodeos there. They used to have Bob Saban and them used to have a jitterbug contest. First couple of years I won, well, Bobby was there, they was fishing the rodeo. He had all his people, I think it was the ladies rodeo, and they had all these, his people in there, but the weather was keeping them in. So he was entertaining, they were there all day, and they were all drinking a little bit, and dancing, so the night the dance contest, uh, we decided to do it, Bob decided to do it by clapping. 
you know, applause. Mm -hmm. So we made the finals. It was Bobby, the chief of police, and, and, and his wife, and me, and some, some lady I found a dance with. Whatever. Well, I come in second. He beat. He never let me down. The next year, he hurt his knee. His knee got hurt. He was working on the boat. He was walking. He said, well, you're going to have it by far, but you're going to get it. I said, no, I'm not even going to dance. You ain't, a good, you ain't a good winner unless you beat a good team, you know. So, Bobby, well, another he, one of those, Yeah, another one of those fishing. Louisiana fishing legends that will be talked about and uh, will be remembered for a long time and sadly missed by a lot they of They still folks. got some fundraisers coming up. They started a lot of captains. They mm -hmm. got free there. If you go to Bridgeside Marina, you'll see all the captains in there and how you can do that and how you can take chances on those trips. All right, we'll see you here again next week. In the meantime, send your pictures, your reports, all the information of what you caught, where you caught it. Remember to take those pictures with your cell phone in a horizontal position so that it fits our screen, and we'll put you on Paradise, Louisiana. All that can be sent to Gary at Paradise, Louisiana, and you'll see it again next week right here on Paradise, Louisiana. Paradise, Louisiana is presented by Rotolo's Pizzeria. Fresh ingredients, friendly service. That's just the way we Rotolo. Demco, your touchstone energy cooperative. Pro Drive Outboards. Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company. Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change. Cracker Barrel Convenience Stores. We have more than you expect. Always fresh, never frozen, raising canes. Louisiana Fish Fry Products. And by CCA Louisiana and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament.